It's a sunny but chilly day here today in North Carolina and I thought it would be a perfect time between the art classes that I teach to show you how to make broiled bananas in your toaster oven. And in my cookbook, Pop It in the Toaster Oven, this recipe is on page 189 and this is what I write. One of my favorites, this dessert can be made in minutes. Overripe bananas are particularly good candidates and the addition of lemon juice and honey gives the bananas a wonderful caramelized texture and a slightly tart flavor. So just a tablespoon of margarine goes a long way in making this simple dessert taste wickedly rich, and indeed it does. And indeed this is one of my favorites. So in just a minute I'm going to show you how to make broiled bananas. It is really simple, and if you're looking for a really good, amazing dessert that doesn't take a long time and is not really fattening or too terribly rich, but just rich tasting. This is the way to go, and I have served this many, many times. There's also a yogurt sauce that I'm going to make to put on that. Uh, you could do that if you wanted to splurge. You could do vanilla ice cream. Just a word about my cookbook. And my cookbook can be gotten anywhere. It's not very expensive. It's one of the best toaster oven recipe books out there. It's been a long, around for a long time. And people love it. I get a lot of really good reviews about this cookbook. It can be gotten at Amazon, at any place online, or your favorite bookstore. Any bookseller will have this for you. So I would say, if you don't have a toaster oven, you should have a toaster oven. If you do have a toaster oven, you should get this book. This is so simple and so good. Um, I have here two bananas. They have been halved and quartered. Of course, they're peeled. And like I said, the really ripe bananas, what do you do with them? This is a good way. And I have just put them in um, a non-stick pie pan. Seemed to fit pretty well. You can use a pie pan or a cake pan or a casserole dish, whatever you want. Now in this small saucepan I have a tablespoon of margarine. Of course you can use butter if you want. I have two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice and two tablespoons of honey. And in my cookbook it says, yes, you can do this in your broiler if you don't have any other way of heating it up. You can put it in a non-stick pan, these ingredients here, and you can broil it for five minutes. In this case I'm using a saucepan on the stove. What I'm looking for is it to start bubbling. So you can see that this sauce is bubbling. And I think it's ready to put over the bananas. I'm just going to pour the sauce over the bananas like that. Making sure that they're coated. That looks pretty good. I have the toaster oven on broil and I think with most toaster ovens you want to raise the tray up to be close to the top element so you can broil and you know consult your instructions for your toaster oven about what you should do with the tray. In this case I have elevated the tray. Okay so in go the bananas. I want to leave the door open just a little bit for broiling and I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. 
And <clears throat> while the bananas are broiling, I'm going to put together this creamy yogurt sauce. Now I made some adjustments on this. The recipe says to use one cup of plain non-fat yogurt. Well, you know what? I had sweetened yogurt. So I'm not going to put the confectioner sugar in, uh, which the recipe calls for a quarter of a cup of confectioner sugar. Instead, I just put in two tablespoons of honey because I had it. Then um, also, if this requires a tablespoon of cream cheese, and this is the lower fat cream cheese. I'm also going to add a half a cup of fat-free half and half. and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now I'm going to mix it with my electric mixer. There's the broiled bananas, and you know what I did, is I broiled them for just a few minutes more because I like them browned a little bit, um, and this is something you can make a decision on, how long you want to broil them, whether you want them just nicely warmed up, a little bit toasty, or really a dark golden brown. Now, I just uh, put these all in one dish, um, which is quite lovely. And I still had some of that nice tart uh, pan sauce to put over these, which I did. Obviously, if you're serving guests, you can put the bananas in a separate little dishes. And I'm just going to spoon this yogurt sauce. Wow, I mean, I, I don't know how you feel about bananas. I like bananas, but this kicks them up a notch, I think. <laughs> Who said that? Yeah, and um, I could eat this whole thing right now. <laughs> but I'm not going to. So. What's going on here? Um, you know, have the, that tart, sweet taste with the broiling sauce. And then the yogurt kind of calms it down, but it's not real sweet. But it's just sweet enough. So it's, this is extremely satisfying, I think, as far as a dessert goes. this would taste like with just a little bit of rum on it before you broil it. Well, anyway, I could eat that whole thing. Don't forget freeonlineartclasses.com. That's my website. Um, I teach art classes. I'm an artist. I love to cook. I wrote a cookbook. So there's two things I like to offer to the public. One is my YouTube videos. They are cooking demonstrations and art demonstrations. Many, many different forms. Drawing, painting, printmaking. And also my website's like that. A lot of different art classes. And a lot of art resources. Artful aging, artful gardening, home schooling. You should check it out. It's a large website. And there's a reason why it's called free online art classes. It's because the art classes and all of the information that I have put in the website is free. You don't have to sign in. You don't have to log in. I'm not selling CDs of my lessons. They're all there for you. So check it out. And try this broiled bananas.